Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to discuss how to calculate gain or loss for exchange or trade in fixed asset using straight line method of monthly basis. This is the format of monthly basis when we want to purchase the asset. So the first one, when you want to purchase the asset from the date of 1 to 15, we must calculate full month of differentiation. And when we purchase from the date 16 until 31st of the month, we must not include the, the date of purchase. And when you want to sell the fixed asset, we must calculate the depreciation based on the date. The first one from the first until 15th of the month, we not we does not the depreciation not included and from 16th of the month until 31st of the month, we must include to calculate depreciation. When we want to exchange or trade in fixed asset for another fixed asset, we must calculate gain or loss. When we want to calculate gain or loss, we must compare the trade in value with book value. So when we want to compare book value of all machine or all asset with trade in value, and when book value is bigger than trade in value, then we will get loss of disposal. And when we compare the book value and book value is smaller than trade in value, then we will get gain on disposal. Now we look at the example for trade in of fixed asset. Ronald Company trade in old machine with a new machine on 5th of July 2019 and the following information related to the transaction. So from the data given, the old machine purchased 10th of July 2016 with the cost of asset 20,000 and the residual value 2,000 and the useful life six years, whereas for new machine, the date of acquisition 5th of July 2019 and the cost of machine or new machine RM30,000, the residual value RM2,000 and its useful life are, are 10 years. So this method for uh, old machine or new machine based on straight line method. So the trade in value for old machine was RM5000 and depreciation recorded on the month of purchase and no depreciation recorded on the month of disposal. Or in other words, this, this company used straight line method based on monthly basis. Now, you are required to prepare journal entry to record the purchase of new machine on 5th of July 2019. And the second one, you are required to prepare adjusted journal entry to record depreciation expense for the year ended 31st December 2019. So, before we prepare adjusted journal entry, there are a few steps to calculate gain or loss. So we must calculate gain or loss. We can prepare gain or loss by using calculation or general entry. So the first one, we, have, we must calculate accumulated depreciation of old machine. The second one, we must calculate book value of old machine. The third one, we must compare book value of old machine with trade in value and if we find out trade in value is bigger than book value of old machine 
then we will get we will get gain on disposal. Or if book value is bigger than trade in value, then we will get loss on disposal. And there are a few steps of preparing preparing journal entry at the date of disposal. First, we must remove all, all fixed asset. The second one, we must remove accumulated depreciation of all fixed asset. The third one, we must add new fixed asset. So you can see number one, credit all fixed asset. Number two, debit accumulated depreciation of all asset when we remove the accumulated depreciation. The third one, we must add new fixed asset. So debit new fixed asset in the journal entry. The fourth one, we must calculate cash payment. So cost of new asset less trade in value. So we must credit cash in the journal entry. And the last one, we must calculate gain or loss of missing figure. So if we lost the missing figure in the credit side, there is gain on disposal. And if the missing figure in the debit side, there is loss on debit, loss debit side, there is loss on disposal. This is the schedule of depreciation expense and accumulated depreciation of all machine from the date of purchase until the date of disposal. So we can see the date of purchase, July, and at the end of 2009, uh, 2016, July to December, we have to calculate 6 over 12 times 20,000, the cost of asset less 2,000 for residual value divided by 6 years, and you get depreciation for 2016 only 1,500 for 2017 and 2018 the depreciation is RM 3,000 per year and the date of disposal July 2019 so we have to calculate the depreciation for the year 2019 of old machine from January to June. So the amount is 6 over 12 times 20,000 less 2,000 divided by 6 years and you get depreciation for old machine for 2019 only RM 1,500 and the accumulated depreciation for old machine for the year 2019 is RM 9,000 and the book value is RM 11,000 for the year 2019 of old machine. Now we can use the formula to calculate gain or loss. <coughs> so accumulated depreciation of old machine from the schedule we got RM 9,000 and the book value of old machine we can get from the schedule RM11,000 and we can compare the book value with trade in value. So when we compare book value RM11,000 and trade in value given in the question RM5,000, then you will get loss on disposal RM6,000. So when you want to prepare the journal entry to record new machine purchased on 5th of July 2019, so we must calculate cash paid for new machine 30,000 less RM5,000 trade in value given in the question, then the cash payment is RM25,000. So when, when we want to record in the journal entry, there are a few steps that you have to follow. The first one, we must remove old machine. So, credit. 
or machine. The second one, we must remove accumulated depreciation of old machine. So we must record debit side RM9000. The third one, we must add new machine. So debit RM30000. The fourth step, we must record cash payment for new machine. So we credit cash RM25000. And the missing figure is RM6000. How to get it? We must balance the debit side and the credit side of the journal. And you can find out there is short figure in the debit side RM6000. So that one we call lost on disposal. So we have to give an explanation to record disposal of machine. So this is the way how to record journal entry when you want to trade in old machine with the new machine. Now we have to prepare adjusted journal entry to record depreciation expense for the year 2019. So we have to calculate depreciation expense for new machine, the date of purchase 5th of July 2019 until 31st December 2019. So we have 6 over 12 times the cost 30,000 less the residual value 2,000 divided by useful life 10 years. Then you get the depreciation expense RM 1,400. So, adjusted journal entry, debit depreciation expense, and credit accumulated depreciation for machine RM1400. So, the explanation to record depreciation expense of machine. That's all for today. Don't forget to watch my next video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.